Ready? Shoot me. <laughs> Tell me about yourself and your passions. Well, my passions currently is wrapped up in riding. I started riding a dirt bike like every kid when I was six, seven years old. And ever since then, I felt like I had to stay involved. Um, once I started getting into motorcycles and um, riding dirt bikes and street bikes, and, and um, I'll be the first to say, when, when we rode street bikes, you know, um, when I first got my 600, we rode like a bunch of uh, assholes. We were the guys that gave the sport bike guys a bad reputation um, just because we were young, dumb, didn't care, and no one could stop us. We ran cops. My one friend and I used to find cops, run them, lose them, find them again, and blow past them just to piss them off. We just did dumb stuff. And it is amazing that um, the majority of us made it. My one friend, uh, I rode with a lot. He ended up passing away from leukemia. And if you would have asked him, he would have much rather died on a bike because it didn't take him long to, to be overtaken by cancer. Um, that same year, I had two other friends pass away on motorcycles that uh, freak accidents, you know, not necessarily doing anything their fault. Um, and then um, two years later, an, uh, one of my best friends, a, a guy I would consider my brother, I've known him since I was seven and uh, very close to me he, he passed away on a bike that that killed me that um, I believe that killed my soul I really after that funeral I um, I really didn't feel anything after that um, that killed me uh, I feel like I died with him and uh, I still miss him every day I mean Every now and then I still try calling him. I mean, he, he's, he was a big part of my life. Um, and then, um, you know, time went on. We kept riding, but changed our style a lot. We all grew up. A lot of my friends had kids. A lot of the guys stopped riding. Um, so there was just a, a core of us, maybe four or five of us that still rode, still went to the bike nights, stuff like that. But we weren't riding like we used to. Um, and my one friend that was trying to get me into the track days, he's a big influence in my life. I've, you know, I knew him the year I bought my 600. I, I was introduced to him. Fantastic rider, by far the best rider I know to this day. He was sponsored to race on the track, competed in a couple events before his sponsorship. Uh, a guy saw him, had to have him, sponsored him, gave him a bike suit you know got him set up and um, went to his first race came in second his second race came in third which is ridiculous for your first two races and uh, was preparing for his third race um, got a new shifter for the bike at his house decided to go take it down the street to figure out you know make sure everything worked on the way back car pulled out in front of him didn't see him you know, um, took him out on impact. Uh, that that was another one that hit really close to home because, like I said, I, I've been riding with this guy for years. He was almost track only. He literally was just testing out the bike, and it was just, it was one of those things you have to wonder, you know, was it his time? Why would this happen? That being said, we grew up as a brotherhood. We were all family. You know, this wasn't something we all just decided to do. It was something that uh, we were all called to do. We, you know, we were all riders inside. And as dumb as that sounds and as stupid as it is, there's just uh, some people that are cut out for it and some people that aren't. And um, when you are, you can't help but do anything but throw your leg over that bike and go hit the canyons or go hit some twisties or go to the track day 
Um, and we all realized from day one that this is a surreal possibility that this could be your last ride.